I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very popular question on application of chain rule to find derivatives. You can see variation of this question in your test many times. So we are given the function y equals to square root of x square plus then again square root of x cube plus 1, right? Like this. We need to find the derivative. So the derivative dy dx will be what? Derivative of this function, which is square root of x square plus square root of x cube plus 1, right? Now, as you can see, we have to the power of half here. So I could actually rewrite this as derivative of uh, x square plus square root of x cube plus 1 to the power of half, correct? That is the meaning of square root. So if you find this derivative, you get half times all this, which is x square plus square root of x cube plus 1 to the power of half minus 1, which gives you minus half. Now, the inside function derivative, you have to multiply it by. So you get derivative of the inside function, which is for us x square plus square root of this, right? Square root of x cube plus 1. Clear? Now, to the power of minus half means it really comes in the denominator. So I could write this as 1 over 2 square root of x square plus square root of x cube plus 1. Correct? Now, what is the derivative of this portion? x squared derivative is 2x plus derivative of this, which is, again, half of, right, square root of x cubed plus 1. You could do it like this also, writing this as power of half and then minus half. It comes in the denominator, as we wrote here, times inside function derivative, right? Do you understand that part? Times derivative of x cubed plus 1. Do you see that? So that is how we actually move inside the square root and then keep on finding their derivatives. And ultimately, I think we can now write down our result. So we have here uh, 1 over 2 square root of x square plus x cubed plus 1, right? Times, this is 2x plus this derivative is 3x square, right, divided by 2 square root of x cube plus 1. Do you see that? So that is how we could actually find derivative of nested uh, functions with these square roots. So you can see how useful chain rule is to really find derivative of function within function or when we have composition of function. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.